Now then guys, just a very quick video to let you know that the times of when Borderlands 3 will be available to play have been announced. We've also some good news, no matter if you're playing on console or PC, you should be able to start downloading the game roughly 48 hours ahead of the launch date. Epic Games obviously had some issues with this initially, so now that's been sorted, now that we're able to download the game a couple of days before the actual launch, meaning that if you have awful internet, you don't need to worry about lagging behind. But now let's go over the release times. You've seen them on screen, but I'll read them out just in case you want that. It basically comes out midnight London time, and at that point in time, so Sydney, it'll be 9 a.m. in the morning, Tokyo 8, Singapore 7. That's when the game will come out. That'll be all on September the 13th. So as we go from the Thursday into the Friday for London British people, that is exactly when the game will become available to play. Of course, for the Western countries, Sao Paulo, New York, San Francisco, all showing you the times that they'll become available on the Thursday, September the 12th. For console, it's a little bit different. For everybody east of London, it comes out midnight their respective time zone. So it means for Sydney, Tokyo, Singapore, Moscow, Cape Town, Rome, and all of the other countries in that area will get the game at midnight their time as opposed to what the time would be for London. Then everything on the west has to wait a couple of hours. Sao Paulo has to wait four, New York has to wait five hours to play the game in comparison to PC. San Francisco will have to also wait five hours before they can play. So console players, you are gonna lag behind a little bit, but don't worry, we'll have content on this channel telling you how you can best catch up and make the most of your time playing. That's basically everything. I don't wanna make a lot of news videos on this channel. I do enough of that on Overwatch Central. I just want this to be about the game, builds, guides, and all that jazz. What's going on guys, Killer6, and it's finally time. I'm able to start releasing some Borderlands 3 content for you, but I don't wanna spoil anything for you. So first and foremost, this video will be spoiler free. There will be like essentially like the first couple of missions or something like that from Borderlands 3. So if you don't even wanna see that, by all means, click off this video. I fully understand. Um, however, that said, I'm going to blur out the story mission name. And this is mostly going to be about the new gameplay mechanics, the things that I like about the game, things of that nature. Nothing spoilery near as I can tell. And again, this would be like the equivalent of like in Borderlands 2 going through Knuckle Dragger and then hitting Southern Shelf. There's nothing here that's going to ruin the, the experience for you guys, I, I don't believe. Uh, another thing that I want to say first and foremost is thank you to 2K and Gearbox for providing me early access to give you guys this footage and to give you guys my thoughts on Borderlands 3. I think the game is absolutely amazing. There is like this has far exceeded any expectations that I had for Borderlands 3. Obviously, I wanted Borderlands 3 to be like the best game ever. I had no idea that they were going to deliver on that promise and then some. So without further ado, I'm going to shut up. We'll dive into the gameplay and I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care. Oh my God, it's time. New game. All right, so you can see here, you've got your difficulties. Um, easier mode, you may find you're harder to kill. If you're new to shooters, want to experience story with less of a challenge or simply want to feel like more of a badass, boom, you can do that. Uh, normal mode's what you're used to with uh, previous Borderlands games. So pulls no punches is the difficulty the game was made for. You'll need to consider your gear and skills to survive. If you're experienced with shooters, want a hard won story expense experience or just want to give you uh, give the bad guys a sporting chance. You want normal mode. Yes, indeed. All right. Um, so then you can also choose your group mode. Uh, so cooperation, every bit of loot you find is dropped for you and unique to you instanced. Or this is the classic mode. You can choose classic where if it drops on the ground, you got to fight for it. Or, you know, whoever gets to it first. <laughs> That's how you do that. I love that you can see your own feet finally. I want to slide into somebody and hit them. <laughs> Knocked him off his feet. I love it. <laughs> That's great, dude. Got eight HP, man. Me surviving. <laughs> Until I did that. That was genius. My first ever killing of myself. One life over. <laughs> I knew better than to kick that barrel, but I did it anyhow. Because I'm crazy. 
Jacob's a ricochet if you hit crits, by the way. Let's do this boss fight. Yeah, he is. Brought a knife and a screwdriver to a gunfight. <laughs> All right, I failed. <laughs> he did seem like a nice guy. All right, so cool. At level two, you actually unlock your action skill, which is pretty dope. Bro. Damn, that's how many it holds still there. Whoa, Lilla, what? <laughs> a little skeet shooting. <laughs> Good teamwork, Lilith. <laughs> Good teamwork. Thanks. You weren't so bad yourself there, girl. I love the auto ammo pickup, man. So good. <laughs> did a little flip. Oh, did that hurt? <laughs> did it hurt, bro? <laughs> I bet that hurt. I know that one hurt. Nice slide. <laughs> Dude, if you want to feel like a badass, this is the game. <laughs> this is the game. I missed. Oh, oh my god, dude. That's all that's left. Alright, let's take a look at our Marcus head that we got. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> there he is! Loot Tink! Got one. Where are you going, bro? If he uh, if he digs and uh, hides, then you miss out on the loot. So you gotta kill him. Can't let him. Can't let him dig. No, don't dig. Don't dig. Got him. All right, sweet. We got a badass here, though. All right, let's open this. Darn, no legendary, but we did get a purple. Get out, bro. I need your vehicular. Okay. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but it was great. That's what I love about Borderlands. Even things that aren't supposed to happen are amazing. That was so perfect. I love this game <laughs> so much, dude. <laughs> Little things got wrecked. All right, we got the killing word. Fast travel. So it allows us to skip all the way back to the beginning of the map without having to run all the way back over there. Such a nice feature, dude. All right, and then we can use this to teleport. How do we do this? Uh, orbit view, and then we go to the droughts. Nice, look at that, so good. And then we can teleport fast travel right there, dude. Quality of life times one bajillion, dude. <laughs> Quality of life times one bajillion with those simple features right there. I love it. Oh, looting! Not this time, loot tink. Not this time, loot tink. On reload. There we go. Got him. Nice. All right, loot tink. What do you got for me, man? Oh, we got the room decoration or something there too. Ooh. New shield. Got a uh, COV bat room decoration. Nice. So much sound variety in all the weapons. <laughs> it was hidden. Oh, now this is locked. What the hell? Oh, wait, no, he just now respawned. <gasps> oh, cool. All right. We got him. Oh. <laughs> uh, I knew that. It's going to happen. Level eight. Yes. All right, we farmed him twice. Both times we've got his uh, unique, but we haven't gotten a legendary from him yet. Oh. Interesting. I spawned here. Cool, we spawned. Oh my goodness, this is a, such an easy farm now. All right, so let's recap. We can now spawn right at a boss. Oh, we got a legendary. Yes, what do we got? Mind killer! Oh crap, my first legendary of Borderlands 3! You guys got to experience it! <laughs> awesome, man! What is this thing? It looked like it was a shotgun. I believe it was a shotgun. 
Yep. Uh, I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. All right. Hey, that's a that's a quote from Dune. I remember that. <laughs> this thing looks pretty cool. It looks like uh, like the front of it has like a '80s like retro kind of thing going on, and like a Black Widow symbol on the side here. This thing looks pretty nice, man. Looks pretty nice. So, I uh, wonder what it does. Though. It's a Malawan, so I know you have to like charge it up to shoot it. So I wonder if like the longer you charge, the more damage it does. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'm not great with Malawans yet, but we'll, you know, we'll dive into it and figure it out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mind killer versus the guy that dropped the mind killer. <laughs> All right, you know, it, it, it's pretty good damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good damage. It just blew a Tink's head off. No big deal. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, I guess it helps if I don't shoot the shield. <laughs> So I'm just trying like little short bursts. Um, maybe we can try like a longer hold. I don't think it does any more damage the longer you hold it. I don't know, I'll have to do some like testing on it though to, to really see. Oh man, that is, guys, like that's really satisfying. <laughs> Making something just like turning things into pink mist. Oh, it's pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> Pretty nice, just like going full gore, man. So this like, you know, this takes the gore up like 10 notches from Borderlands 2 as well. <laughs> like that was one of uh, the things that everybody always said is that they wanted more gore, like uh, in Borderlands 1. I always thought that the gore in Borderlands 2 was fine, but now that I see this, I'm like, oh yeah, you know what? This is much better. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> you guys were right. Yeah, so holding that down longer, I don't think that does any more damage. I'll have to, like I said, I'll have to do some more extensive testing on this thing, because I, I can't really tell without, you know, actually having a stationary target, and you know what I'm saying. You, you, you need, like, a firing range dummy or something. Oh, that's cool, man. You can, like, set the, make the puddle go all electric. <laughs> that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Like said, like making the entire puddle be shocking. <laughs> yeah, get you some of this mind killer. And this thing's gonna carry me for a few levels, I think. <laughs> this thing's actually pretty good. It's not bad for an early game weapon, pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed my initial playing of Borderlands 3. I didn't want to like show you guys too much in this video. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it though. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe for more. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of Borderlands 3 videos in the coming days, weeks, months, and years. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Jaco here, and today I am showing you guys some more Borderlands 3 pre-order content. And uh, this is what uh, we have so far. Most of the stuff is cosmetic. As you guys can see, neon cosmetic pack, a head, a skin, another skin, and a little weapon trinket that you can put on the side of your gun. Next, the toy box weapon pack. Uh, there's gonna be a few more uh, weapons in it. it this doesn't show all of it, but the toy weapon trinket, uh, that's also kind of cool. It looks like a water gun, a little orange tip, little like uh, weird trigger there too. Um, the gearbox uh, cosmetic pack is just purely skins and a little gearbox trinket, which is also pretty cool. Um, and then the retro cosmetic pack, like I said, just purely cosmetic for most of these uh, weapon skin, a hunter skin, and echo device skin, which is right here to the left, and a vault hunter head, which I'll show you guys like better in depth uh, pictures of what these all exactly are and everything in them and the season pass will include a butt stallion pack which is just the skins i hope that um you can put all the skins on every single one of the guns and then dlc one two three and four and uh to get a closer look at that we can go over here and i can show you guys at the retro skin pack what they will look like on the guns a sniper rifle um i don't know exactly what this is it could be a grenade launcher a rocket launcher ar or something i'm not exactly sure this looks like some sort of laser SMG or something, and then a handgun of some sort. And here are the Ball Hunter skins and heads, and the Echo device a little bit bigger there. And this is the Retro Cosmetic Pack, and let's back out of that. And now we can check out the Neon um, 
pack right here. This will be in the Deluxe and Super Deluxe Edition, so you won't be able to get it in the regular pre-order $60 edition. But you can get it in the $80 and $100 edition, which I'm probably going to get the $100 edition because I love Borderlands so much. I know it'll be well worth the four DLCs and all these, all this extra crap. It's really cool, to be honest. And the weapon trigger we already saw. The Echo Device skin. I don't think we saw that in the first picture, but uh, here it is. Um, looks pretty cool. Nothing too special except for the little neon skull. And then, of course, the Ball Hunters uh, heads and skins. Looks pretty cool as well. Can't wait to like uh, get like use either a head and then use another little skin at the bottom. That'd be pretty cool to uh, test out and see what looks the coolest. Uh, the Gearbox Cosmetic Pack is nothing really special. It's just kind of like a super sleek uh, silver kind of thing. A little bit of green and like gold on the side. <clears throat> and then the Gearbox Weapon Trinket, which we already saw. And then we're going to scroll down. This is probably one of my favorite things so far. The toy weapons with unique effects. These all look really cool. Um, to be honest, I hope you get it at like um, level 50, which is going to be the level cap. So you can actually get some use out of these things. And then a toy grenade mod. And it's not even pictured. So yeah, these will be really friggin' cool. I hope, Hopefully they're really cool and really good. And uh... Yeah, here's also the weapon trinket. I hope these are actually going to be useful, to be honest, and hopefully you get it at like level 50. And of course, if you don't already know, become a Borderlands VIP and uh, you can get some rewards. I just got this desktop um, mural art, super cool, only for 500 points. And there's a bunch of other stuff that you can get here. A ton of crap. Let me just uh, pull up my profile real quick, show you guys what I've gotten so far. So, I've gotten a free B from uh, one of the VIP spin wheels and some other guns and stuff. And uh, if you do want to uh, get a quick link to this, help me out and help you guys out as well. I can earn 500 points if you click the link in the description. I'll put this link in the description. So, hopefully, 25 of you guys will be able to click on it and give me some extra points so I can make content on Borderlands 3 a little bit easier um, come when the game comes out. And uh, another thing is, they did just release this little video right here um, a few minutes ago. There's uh, Sanctuary 3 up there in the corner. I think this is Steve from And then boom, he crashes into that. I'm not really sure what that was all about. Just right into the danger zone. And then uh, I guess you could say his goose is cooked. Um, not really sure what that means. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the video today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys are excited and um, can't wait for these packs and all this stuff and you want to pre-order this, go right ahead. You can pre-order on the website or pre-order on PlayStation, Xbox, or GameStop or wherever. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. Be sure to drop a like subscribe. If you guys are excited for Borderlands 3, please drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.